Welcome back YouTube, this is DragoonZell, and I'm back with another video for Xenoverse 2. And this time I'm going to be talking about the thing everybody hates on this game, and that's the dreaded RNG system, and how you have to play a match over and over and over and over and over again just to get one skill or one item. Now, I can tell you for a fact that I don't actually ever have to do this because I kind of know how it works in a way and most people ignore me when I say this or they, they don't believe me and they're doing this like one match 30 times and they can't get the skill or item because of how it's run. So I'm going to use my female Saiyan for explaining this because she's a key blast user. She deals a lot of damage. I can get through it quick. Um, and this is usually my setup for stuff like that because it basically works on everything. Um, Alright, so we're Ooh. just going to pick one of the new PQs. The DLC 10 dropped. And I'm going to do the... Uh, I've, I've already done this. Um, I've already completed this. I'm going to do it again. Uh, and I did this yesterday. So I'm going to do it again, and we're going to see what happens, because of how the RNG in, in this game is, I figured out that, and as you can see, I've already gotten most of my new ones, uh, I have, uh, the, the Flash Chaser, I need to do, and, uh, I've already done Savory, Savory Slicer on my other CAC, and I've gotten that, and I've already gotten Lightning Impact, Excellence, uh, Source, I've gotten the Android 21 costume, and I've done all of these, literally on the first try i even got both ultimates i've gotten both ultimates lightning impact and excellent full course on the same try like the first time i did it boom i got them both i got total detonation ball and photon photon swipe and android 21 lab cope on the first try and i got it now a lot of people are like, oh, you're just lucky. Well, no, yes and no. Yes, the RNG sucks, but there is a way to where you can increase your odds in actually doing a match and getting the moves fairly quickly. And I'll exp uh, how I, how to explain this. Okay, so as what I like to put is that every single match, except for the Dragon Balls, the Dragon Balls run off a completely different um, system they actually tell you how that's run and like the first PQ you do first first or second PQ that you do they tell you how that runs. but it runs off of what's called an any farm system which basically means the more you do a PQ in a 24-hour period the less chance you're gonna get of receiving the item or the skill so the more you do a PQ in 24 hour period, the item drop rate goes down. This is bad. So I only do a certain PQ once a day, maybe, yeah, maybe once or twice a day. I wait a day, I try it again the next day, and I normally get it within the next day, or I get it within the first day. Because I'm always doing the PQ when the item drop rate is at the highest amount. So it doesn't actually take me too long. And I'm not getting frustrated playing the same thing 30 times in a row. I like, I take a break, I do another PQ. If I don't get it, okay, I'll just wait tomorrow. And I'm going to get it uh, within one or two tries tomorrow. Which is basically what happens. So I'm going to pick my Freezer Race. He has Emperor's Death Beam. He's going to lock down. I'm going to pick my um, Human Zell character, which is basically going to... Uh, keep melee. I like one, uh, two key blasters to one melee ratio because I know I've got extra allies in this, and the melee kind of locks them down close range, and the two key blasters kind of blast them from afar. It's a great tactic to have when dealing with PQs, especially the later PQs with uh, more and more enemies. Oh, hey. aren't you my master's new student? I guess that means we're training together today. My name's Oop. It's a pleasure Ginyu to meet Force, you. Raccoon. This will be fun. Okay, so the other thing about uh, Force, 
increasing the percentage drop rate is it, if you didn't know there's a point system to the game now if you actually think about it the point system is basically useless unless it's actually explained like this the higher your point system the greater your chances are of having a skill and item drop that's what it's there for it's it's it helps you get z ranking and ultimate ranking but getting z ranking and ultimate ranking isn't enough you need to get your you, you need to get your um actually you need to get your point acquisition higher that means your accuracy needs to be higher you need to be untouched you need to be you need to get as much criteria in one match as you possibly can a good way to get actually the combo criteria is actually when you are like stupid cell junior okay like is to hold down your circle button while you're doing combos <laughs> Although these cell juniors are a pain in the ass and won't let me do it. And then just let it rip. That's a good way to get your combo criteria. Even though I pretty much shouldn't. It, I should have did it against cell because cell juniors are just way fast. The other thing with multiple enemies, beating Cell Perfect will actually unlock Not the bad. next area, Not bad at all. but there will be a Cell Junior that's still active. Destroy everybody. Like that. And then destroy Cell. Ugh, I can't believe I got hit by that. Now that's a surprise. You're the perfect specimen for me to test my powers on. Because of my super soul, which is Foos, I need don't to... I believe it. Even uh, with all my perfect power, I should be able to beat you easily. I need so to keep my health above 70%. Like sure <laughs> or else, don't show me up too much. evolution will actually just, like, destroy my key. Du -du 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 -du. So... This match has them at the very end, but I've had somebody say, hey, if there's patrollers like that you can fight optionally in the game, defeat them, it'll raise up your item drop rate. I've heard of that. I've actually tested it out in the second time, the two times that I've actually done it for missions that had patrollers in it. It's worked. I've gotten the skill on the first try. Now, I cannot confirm that is actually the case or I just got Someone lucky on the first try my but it did work I, I you guys could try it out and see if it that? works for that's you but it does rise the right item here. drop rate at least that's what I was told and it worked for me I'm not sure that's the first time I've ever heard it um and most of these new ones don't really have optional uh, they they don't have the optional me to cheat death. How could this patrollers. Be? Wow, that's a really close ultimate straight to my face. The other thing is is that in this, most of the AIs, AIs will actually target you um, instead of oop because Majub or yeah Majub and your allies aren't who the hell are you the win no. condition i will show you no mercy if you stand in my way like if Majub dies that's you don't lose that's, that's just the thing. how could this be so they're not obviously I'll going to but it all ends now attack look at i got a skill well, I know what. Uh, so that, so that's one of the skills. I don't know what one of the skills is. But that brings me to my next point. If it doesn't say you got a skill or you got an equipment within a certain time frame, and you're going to beat the match, don't restart the match. 
just go ahead and beat it because the reason for this is is because I couldn't tell you how many times that I've gotten a skill or item equipment at the end of a match and it never told me in the match that I've gotten the equipment it just gives me it at the end wow he had what an intense me. power how Stay dare back. he Help. hey guys what's going on those guys we saw just now are my mentors and are supposed to be serving as lookouts. But what the heck's gotten into them? It's really throwing me for a loop. Why would they have done that? We're going to have to put our training on hold and put a stop to them. Come on! This isn't going to be easy. With our power, uh, we should be able to win. One bad thing about AIs, they'll kick you out of... They'll, looks like we were able to they'll kick the enemies them. out of your ultimates. Okay, now that that's over, we'd better report back to my master. He needs to know. Oh my goodness. He had Raspberry and a pool as allies. Wonder who his master could be. Master, I have something important I need to tell you. Oh, it's you. I've already heard a great deal from my underlings. Ha ha ha! You've done quite well. Um, However, we're over here. I you you could at least you face us. This, much power. this is information that will prove quite useful. You see, I'm rather, let's say, careful. I can't have a liability like you around, so this is where we part. The other thing about raising the uh, item percent rate for the RNG in this game is um, now you can't actually do this in this match because Majub's your ally, but um, normally if you, if you actually defeat the person last that owns the move, but you'll suffer in his own my assistance is that almost was admirable. lame. I think it's time to stop toying with you and finish you off once and for all. Now be a good little student. I got two of them attacking me, which kind of sucks. Oh, it ran out. Oh, I just, I just have a. Uh, never mind. I just. So annoying. Expecting an attack that's strong. How did I lose? This is impossible. Always attacking me. Ugh. My my ally is just standing there and letting it happen too, which is kind of annoying. I can't even charge up or anything. All right, there we go. All right, what do I get? Okay. Okay. Okay, I got Dragon Blitz. All right, that's fine. I'll just wait like until tomorrow to get the other one. That Dragon Blitz, uh, Dragon Blitz is actually the one I wanted, anyways, out of the two. So that's pretty good. Um, and that's usually how the RNG works. I mean, you you just have to increase. And and look, I got 110,804 last time. If you didn't actually see it, I got below uh, 90,000. So raise up your point acquisition. You want to make sure to get the Z ranking, I, uh, ultimate ranking, obviously, um, ultimate finish. You want to defeat the time patrollers, which in this it's actually forced on you, so it, it's kind of like, uh, duh. Um, and only do it once or twice a day, and you'll actually get the desired items, just like I did. I'll just get the next <laughs> skill the next day. That's fine. Um, and that's how the RNG works. So I really hope you guys like my video and I hope it's informative. And now people can stop complaining about doing a mission 30 times in a row. And really, that's not going to help at all. Just do it once or twice a day. All right. Thanks for watching this. I hope you guys like it. Comment, subscribe. Please subscribe subscribe <laughs> and I'll do some more videos um how-to videos and until next time see you later